All right, so I'm gonna I'm play this video real, really quickly because I believe that this is close to the sentiment uh, that a lot of women view towards men because of what's going on and what, what was offered. So check this out real quick. Niggas, the best, Kamala gave you niggas the best proposal I've ever heard in my motherfucking life. And when I mean niggas, I literally mean black men, African-American men. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of jealous, not even gonna hold you. Cause if she would have did that for black women, I would have went on ahead and start putting out my notes and list exactly what the fuck I was going to have, how I was going to apply every fucking uh, start date when that shit would have dropped just so I can be first in line to apply to every single loan, every single um, down payment that she put out for a motherfucker. You niggas saw what she said, spat in her face and said, bitch, fuck you. We don't want that shit. We just want you to get rid of child support. That's that's literally. <laughs> I just cannot believe. And this is why I fucking say I am tired. I am tired of black women, actual smart, intelligent, strong, independent black women fall into their knees to make things more comfortable and more suitable for the most ignorant, bow-legged, knock-needed motherfuckers in our community. Stop appeasing to these niggas. Everything that is coming out their motherfucking mouth should have soap dumped down their throat because nothing makes fucking plausible sense when it comes out of an ignorant black man's mouth. These niggas don't give a fuck what Kamala do. These niggas don't give a fuck what she come out and say because they hate black women. They hate the fact that a black woman skipped them to get where the fuck she at. They hate it. They hate it. They hate it. They hate it. They hate, they hate knowing for a fact that black women are behind a lot of things that basically benefits the black man they hate it but yet they refuse to get off their fucking ass and educate themselves because no fucking way no way that you think for a fucking second that a black woman is going to literally strip away child support something that holds your motherfucking ass responsible for laying down doing the deed and creating said child and you want <laughs> that black woman to go in fucking office and strip away the only responsibility that keeps your ass in that child's life. I Kamala gave you all right. So thoughts. Hey man. Can't no bitch with no forehead like this ever talk about no black man. <laughs> Get her ass up the fuck out of there, man. <laughs> she got that Sherman Hemsley forehead. Get this hoe up out of here, man. Like what the fuck is she I, talking about? Yeah. You I, uneducated? I, I, like, you're not educated on what she was trying to what she was trying <laughs> to offer. How the fuck you gonna say somebody uneducated because they ain't taking what she was offering, which was some bullshit? How are you even talking? Like, you don't even realize the, that that shit was a slap in the face. And that shit wasn't even catered toward black men. Like, she ignorant as fuck. I was joking about the forehead shit, but damn, man, like, that hoe really dumb. She really dumb, like, to even get on there and say that, all that, all that shit, talk down, talking about we we the most, well, she wasn't talking about me, because so, I don't, she definitely don't, she not talking about nobody with some sense. I don't even know what she's, I guess, black men responded and saying they wanted her to get, get rid of, uh, of uh, child support. If that's how they feel, that's how they feel. But to say that that's fucking ignorant, like when they didn't want to take what twenty thousand of a tax uh, of a tax loan or whatever the fuck she was offering, man. Like, right. do y'all think that child support, um, family court child support law should change? Oh, for sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell Quentin, yeah. what do you think about what she said? Uh, per black woman normal, just loud and wrong. I um, I don't know. Black woman will take anything that you tell them and just do it. Just like pay the most student loan debt, and they don't really equate the shit. They own. What do you house. What do you think about the child support laws, Quentin? Do you think that men have a I valid think... argument about that? Not going away, like maybe like a cap type of thing. 
like and i don't, and i think the child support laws need to be capped on the men at the like higher end of it you know the niggas at the lower end you, can, you just need to make some more money <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. but but like once you start saying a kid need like two thousand plus dollars a month is wild to me yeah like i know they take some of this child support accounts hey the mother has to um have or the other parent not just the mother the other parent has to uh, have an establishment big enough for the kid you know instead of a one bedroom apartment maybe the bitch got to buy two type shit so i kind of i kind of understand that part. i don't i don't well let me get carrie's perspective carrie what do you think about this i think that it is a sad day when someone who is ignorant can boldly call someone else ignorant and then the people in the comments seem to be agreeing <laughs> right along with well those yeah. three let me let me They're the three comments I can see. The three comments I can see. I can go fair. through the comments if y'all want um, me to actually show y'all. No, please don't. But this, this yeah, just, what's her, what's her name? Okay, this, uh, this just goes to show, in my opinion, half of what she's saying is probably oh, black, because, all black women. Yeah, of course. Of well, let me let me read let me read through some of them. Uh, the most ignorant motherfuckers on it, on this motherfucking planet. I hate it here so bad. Exactly, these dudes are pathetic, and this is coming from a man. Um, he's a beta. Then he gonna eat ass for lunch. <laughs> My question is, how many of them are even registered to vote? But I want to cry and whine about the circumstances they put themselves in. Another woman said, this is what black women have been saying about black men. Kamala gave them a goddamn game plan and they can't even follow through with that. Uh, it showed how it showed how uneducated they are because child support is a state issue, not a federal issue. Uh, and the president can't do anything about child support. Toxic men exist in, this, in the king baby realm and no one can tell me different. They want to do all of the things, reckless or not, but have zero responsibility. Self-preservation is necessary. Keisha says they're not going to use it. The resources are out there. They just rather be victims and cry like little bitches. Um, we will have to leave so many of them behind. This is what women are saying to men. Um, Child support attorney. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know if this is relevant. So the, the, the ninjas talking and pandering can't even cast a vote because the child support records and are truly uneducated and misinformed men, children, they hate women because of mommy issues um, and get half. Black women want college debt forgiveness. Black men want child support forgiveness. <laughs> um, black men are lazy, period. They are ignorant. These dusties don't want to work for nothing. They just want a handout. Black men are bringing down a black community and it's so unfortunate. Black men's biggest gripe is child support, taking care of their children. There's a TikTok where a man says straight black men and white women of the black community. And I fear he is right. That they said that straight black men are the white women of the black community, and I fear that he is right. Half of these men won't even take advantage of the program. Sis, sis, they pride and egos won't let them. That's why they this is a black man. That's why they need to ban black uh, ban abortion so it can hold black women accountable for all of the bad decisions because y'all get them um the most amongst all women. One like another black man says black women not only surviving or thriving. But excelling without them is a blow to their fragile egos they can't take. In this marathon, they're being left further and further behind. Black oh. men gone black. Black men gone. Black men, so we must black women. Period. Tired of black women calling black men. I'm convinced this is why the Amazon women didn't want men around, so on and so forth. So this is a sentiment of women towards men and what they're saying about men in general. So this is not this is not my opinion. This is actual. All, all of these people the have, world. they all have mental health issues. Every single last person who leaves a, a comment, the, the the fact that you can listen to this lady and hop in the comments and have something to say, you have there's something wrong with your mind because mm -hmm. out of this whole conversation that we've had tonight, in my mind, I know what I am as a black man, and I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. Cause I know we run it. I know because I know we run it up over here, and this shit ain't about me. Two things. Two things I said tonight are relevant, are even more relevant because of this. The first thing I said was I don't trust. I don't trust women. This is why you see what they saying about. Even though this may not even like have anything to do with me, how I move, how I act, 
any of that. This is why you can't trust some black women. They have vitriol for black men, just period. Secondly, I said, everything that was read in that Kamala shit was for people who don't think for themselves. <laughs> not one comment in there, not one, only one comment, well, not, not necessarily even one comment, not one person in this post corrected that woman and told her like, hey, whatever she presented was some bullshit. Like, don't fall for this. You need to delete this post. Nobody's saying that shit in the comments. She's completely off. She's wrong. And the shit that Kamala offered was bullshit, man. It was trash. You could tell they put that shit together in 24 hours. And less than that. But this is the problem, though. This yeah, is the this, problem. People just it, let people let folks go on tangents, uncorrected, and everybody be they just follow behind, like, oh yeah, this is just fucked up. All you gotta do is say black men this, white man that, and people just gonna fall in line and they go and they're gonna start slandering and they're gonna agree. It's that simple. It's that simple. It is what it is, man. What you about to say, Carrie? Um, stuff like this is the reason why I'm more inclined to support a traditional approach. And traditional, I mean restrictive, and I mean getting back to how things were, because all I hear is either someone who people who have people who are either single mothers people who were <clears throat> raised by single mothers, people who did, a man didn't choose them. Like to me, all of this is the result of some kind of level of brokenness or like nobody, somebody didn't choose you. And I think that those things are the result of us being so free. Half of her video energy is because she's on the video. Like social media has totally, totally enhanced and and um like I guess magnified the the I don't want to call it retardedness, but just like this 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 ignorance. Half of the people are liking it because she had like and y'all niggas this and y'all that like pe people just like that energy. They not they might not even listen to what she's even saying, but all she has to say is like da 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 nigga and da 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 that and that's all it takes. It's just it's 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 a loss. It's 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 lost. It's lost. And I believe in order to fix it, you have to have extremes. You have to have extremes because we're like people in general. I do think are like kids in that we need some guidance. But women more and more. I I I dare to say it. I'm. We kind of are like a little bit childish. 